At Paris Climate Summit, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called for climate justice. He said India is committed to significantly reducing carbon emissions, but developed nations must foot the bill. Addressing world leaders, the Prime Minister said by the year 2020, India targets reduction of carbon emission level by 33 to 35% from that of year 2005. After participating in the Paris summit, Prime Minister Modi was en route to Delhi. Over 120 solar energy-rich nations come together in Paris under Solar Alliance at India's initiative, pledged to make solar energy drive the future world energy scenario. Prime Minister Modi also inaugurated the India Pavilion in Paris, depicting India's harmony with nature, and an e-book, Parampara, depicting how the country has been environmentally conscious over the ages. On the sidelines of Paris summit, the Prime Minister held brief meetings with prominent world leaders, including US President Barack Obama and French President Francois Hollande. He exchanged pleasantries with Pak Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Lok Sabha witnessed a special discussion on intolerance under Rule 193 amidst repeated adjournments. Initiating the debate, Mohammad Saleem of the CPIM said democracy is all about dissent. Home Minister Rajnath Singh said those who claim intolerance is rising should state what steps government should take to control it. Reserve Bank of India will announce its monetary policy today. The announcement is coming a day after encouraging GDP results, wherein markets are expecting investor-friendly interest rates. India's economic growth accelerated to 7.4% in the July to September quarter, overtaking China as the world's fastest growing major economy. The momentum picked up in manufacturing, mining and services sectors. Enthused by second quarter GDP number, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has said the growth this year would be better than 7.3% achieved last fiscal. The minister said that manufacturing sector recorded a significant growth despite an adverse global situation and hoped that private sector investments would pick up faster in coming quarters. Petrol prices was decreased by 58 paise per litre and that of diesel by 25 paise. The prices became effective from midnight tonight. As part of his three-day visit to Gujarat, President Pranam Mukherjee yesterday presented Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Ignite Awards 2015 at IAM Ahmedabad to 41 creative children from 18 states for their creative and innovative idea. While interacting with students, President said innovation is the key to economic development and reflects maturity of nation and society to respond to emerging needs and challenges. In another step to eradicate any chances of polio from the world, the center has launched polio vaccine in injection form for children below one year of age. Under a global polio endgame strategy, the IPV injection will be part of routine immunization program along with oral polio vaccine. Indo Japan Friends Club was launched at Prime Minister's constituency Varanasi's Asighat, in which members of BJP's Namami Gange team were available, along with people from Japan. The purpose of forming this team is to strengthen the relations between India and Japan. The 46th International Film Festival of India came to a glittering and musical conclusion on Monday. The presence of Oscar awardee musical maestro Air Rahman on the IFI stage made the final day even more memorable. The Lifetime Achievement Award went to Russian filmmaker Nikita Mikhalkov, who sang a tune from a Raj Kapoor film on the occasion. A rousing welcome was given to the Indian bodybuilders who won gold and silver medals for India at the World Bodybuilding Championship at Bangkok. Indian bodybuilder Thakur Anup Singh has won gold. He is also back the title of Mr. World after fending off opposition from two Thai builders in the finals. Eight years ago, the Chinese city of Baoding launched an ambitious low-carbon plan using renewables. But the efforts have fallen flat and in 2014, Baoding was ranked the worst city in the entire country for air quality by the Ministry of Environmental Protection. China has issued the highest smog alert of the year for capital Beijing. The monkeys which roam the streets of Thailand enjoy the food fiesta all day. The people of Thailand dished up a five-star buffet to monkeys in central Lopuri province at the annual monkey festival.